Hi, it is the 6th of January. Um, Mum got given a form today um, that said they will review everything on the 4th of February. She thinks she's coming home the 4th of February, but she's not. Um, the form says she is in the hospital um, because they feel that she's seriously, serious physical impairment that she needs to be under doctor or psychiatrist supervision. Um, today was not a good day for her. Um, she went through her phone and found some old messages that she hadn't listened to before from her now ex, which set her off. She tried really hard, she said, to do like her mindful classes and her, um, her coping strategies and they were doing pretty well, but obviously this was in the back of her mind when she listened to it beforehand. And then she was playing cards with her friend, with her friend that's in the hospital, her new friend, and something was said or asked about him, and she said she freaked out, and she said she kind of destroyed her room a little bit, like just made a mess of things. Um, so that's not good. When I talked to the nurse the other day, they did say that she is having quite a bit of moments when she's confused, um, and they're still seeing, like, the psychotic episodes. Um, she actually doesn't see them herself anymore, and she actually thinks she's fine. Um, but she really wants these classes. She thought she was going home yesterday. She freaked me out, actually. Because I talked to the nurse and the nurse had said that they had still seen those things. And then I called her and she told me that she was packing to go home. And I was like, what? <laughs> um, okay. And she was like, yep, I'm going home tomorrow. Blah, blah, blah. So I called the nurse and I said, what's going on? My mom is under the impression she's going home. And she was like, she's definitely not going home. Um, I think the doctor said something to her about having a family meeting with you and Jamie, and she's trying to sort it out, um, but that's what it is, and I said, okay, well, she's obviously confused, and you need to actually go and tell her that she is not going home, um, tomorrow, um, so the nurses are handling her with a little bit of cape gloves as well, and how they're, like, weaving not lies to her, but, you know, we agree with, we don't disagree with her, but we, like, put it in such a way. Anyways, so she was basically told that she's not going home, but put in such a way that it was an opportunity, I think, for her to still do these coping classes and mindfulness classes, which she really wants because she feels like she's got lots to learn and she needs to learn those and obviously she also wants to cut down some of her medication so these are the things that she thinks she's in hospital for not for her mental wellness um but yeah so that's interesting we're still trying to figure out how to pay her rent which is a nightmare and a half um and because she's not well enough to call the bank and the numbers that i call to try to verify myself aren't working and i only get 250 minutes and if I'm on the f I don't want to waste my minutes on that because um not that it's a waste but if I use up all my minutes which is what I did last time is I used up all my minutes and I was able to get the plan put back on my phone but I had to pay five dollar upgrade to the plan that I had and then pay ten dollars on top of that so I can't just keep upgrading my phone every time otherwise I'm gonna get it's just gonna be crazy so and it's 60 cents a minute to call the hospital um 
and you know I'm on each every single morning I'm calling I am calling every day at least once a day if not twice a day today I ended up having to call three times because two times this is the worst day for it, but two times the one time the nurse hung up on me on accident not the receptionist but the operator hung up on me as she was trying to transfer my call and the second time the nurse was on break so I finally got her a third time but it was crazy um luckily I'm not using it to call my mum because I can just use Fiverr so that's great but you know like each of those phone calls ends up being like between two and five minutes or two and ten minutes depending on if I'm talking to the nurse or not um and 60 minutes 60 cents a minute adds up very very quickly so it's yeah I need to be very very careful about it so I'm not sure what we're gonna do about paying her rent um she seems to think that if she has her bank card she could do some online banking so I was trying to ask the nurse to give her that but um who knows if it's actually happening um otherwise she's in pretty good spirits um so today's a bad day for her today was actually a bad day for me today yesterday was the first day i actually forgot that it was my sister-in-law's wedding anniversary till late at night i've never forgotten it so that was great um not that i forgot it but that is the day i met sam so from here till like the 10th pretty much sucks for me um, but today is our anniversary so i woke up feeling like crap and it's just like i so badly want to be able to forget it um like i could christina rubin no like i don't i don't want to redo time but i don't like i don't regret any of my relationship with him but I see it as a failure, um, and I hate that it's a failure, that I couldn't keep the promise I made on this day. I mean, I know two people play a factor in that, but that's how I feel, and it, it sucks that I still feel this way four years down the track, you know. This would have been actually our 15-year wedding anniversary. How crazy is that? We almost made it to 11. We were so close. So yeah, I keep thinking it's gonna get easier, but it doesn't. I keep trying to fill this day, you know? Like, this is the second time I've like, third time, the first time we went to Pitch Parker, Pitch Perfect 2, I think, or maybe 3, yes, friends, I have, I try to avoid this day or do something special, you know, I've got, Disney was based all on this time, um, today I went and got my booster shot, so I've got that, my arm's feeling a little bit sore and heavy, but mostly just at the like when i go like that i can feel it it's tight really um but it's mostly just at the incision point um it wasn't as gentle this time it actually hurt a lot more this time than it normally did the other two times i barely felt it this time i felt it a little bit more but it was almost like it went tight the minute it went in i don't know it was weird anyways um so i went and did that and we made waffles this morning for breakfast and oh sorry and then i went to out for dinner with my flat tonight and we just went and saw spider-man no way from home so i tried to make this day exciting i straightened my hair not that you can tell but it's a little bit crazy 
I put on jewelry. I did my nails. A little bit sparkly, if you can see. Just a clear sparkle. <laughs> I don't even know if you can see that. Anyways, so I tried. And I do feel better than I did this morning, so um, I'm hoping it's just going to get easier as more time goes, but it does suck, and I don't know why I'm struggling so much to kind of, it doesn't help that I know he's kind of around, I'm told he's actually with his family, or was with his family, so I'm not sure whether he's still around or what. yeah it just sucks and i wanted to stop sucking and i want to stop feeling like i've done something wrong anyways that's that um this next year is about me and trying to finally get healthy i've got no fertility i've got nobody else in the house but me and my flatmate and she wants to be healthy too so it's easier um you know we've got our own space and our own house so yeah we just need to do it actually just need to figure out and we might be able to figure out something that we could do where we actually just do a workout just us i mean i don't know We'll just see what happens. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Anyways, tomorrow's my last day of 8 to 4, 8 to 4.30. I do have an 8 to 4.30 4 next week. But we go back to 7 to 6. So I think I'm 8 to 4.30. 7 till 6. I don't remember what I do on Wednesday. It might be a, another 8. Or an 8.30 to 5 maybe. I don't know. I know I do a 9.30 to 6 on Thursday and a 9 to 5.30 on Friday. So it's Wednesday. I'm not too sure about it. I have to look. But yeah. Anyways, that is what's new with me. That is the update with mom. And yeah, I'm going to get some sleep because it is like 10.30 or... 10.33 and I need to get up at 6.50 so I can leave the house by 7.25 to be at work for 10 to 8. So I will see you guys later.